All right, so first of all, when we're looking at doing mapping at all, uh, we need to learn a little bit about generally what we're talking about. I'm not just going to throw you right into Mapbox uh, without justifying why we would ever use Mapbox. Uh, because there, there are a lot of different ways to manage maps, and it's not necessarily the case that Mapbox is going to be the best thing for what you're doing. So I have quite a few videos on this. Uh, I've done videos elsewhere. I have some free videos on YouTube just explaining differences between Mapbox and uh, other mapping APIs and, and mapping services. Um, but I'm going to very briefly go over it here. I don't want to spend a ton of time doing all this introductory stuff, um, but I think it's worth just, just breezing past it to kind of give you a feel for what we're doing. So when you're choosing different mapping um, things you can use for whatever project, there are some different uh, kind of choices and different things you have to consider in terms of your specific project. So what I always say is that if you're just doing something fairly simple, like it's like a contact page map, or just a simple map to show a few locations, Mapbox is probably going to be overkill because it does require quite a lot of knowledge of like geographic data and styling. You have to learn a whole system. And honestly, that system is a bit much for if you're just doing something really simple. So a big question to ask here is how complex is your map? Uh, if you are going to have multiple layers or very large pieces of data or just you really want something super beautiful and really custom, we're talking Mapbox. Mapbox starts to be a viable thing. So you have to think about how is your data going to be updated, if it's ever going to be updated in this map, how big is the data, um, the costs of Mapbox, which we will look at a little bit. Um, <coughs> Mapbox does have different costs associated with it. And, but at the same time, GLJS or other aspects of Mapbox are open source. So you can sometimes find a way to kind of puzzle out the best solution for your specific project. Um, some particular features uh, that other mapping libraries have, uh, like geocoding or autocomplete, where, they're, where you're searching a location, like you search uh, you know, London and it kind of pre-shows you London, you click on it and, it and it brings you there. Those kind of things, they are available inside Mapbox GLJS, not always available just on a, a normal Mapbox Studio map without, without doing the custom JavaScript. Uh, and some things like directions, those aren't implemented uh, to the same degree in Mapbox that they are in something like Google Maps or even in some of the plugins in Leaflet. So if you're looking for really some, some kind of third-party uh, libraries or extensions on top of your map, Mapbox GLJS is not necessarily going to be your best choice. It's a little newer. People haven't developed everything for it. And it obviously just doesn't have the the history and strength of Google Maps. So it's not to say that Mapbox is always going to be your best solution. I would say the most important times to use Mapbox is when the data allows it, when you have a lot of data and need to handle a lot of data, or you need some extensive customization of the base layer, or if you're just a geographic nerd like me and you want to learn them all. Otherwise, uh, do a little searching on Google Maps API, Leaflet, um, there's also Esri's uh, map services, there's Mapbox, there's uh, ArcGIS card, there's so many different mapping things and it's easy to get lost. So if you are lost and you can't tell if Mapbox is going to be right for you, try a little something with Google Maps, try a little something with Leaflet, see if you run into problems, and once it's worth it to you and you know it's worth it, then come back and we'll, uh, we'll do more Mapbox. So I just kind of want to go over, I wanted to just go over just some of the basic reasons or, or, or some of the considerations you might want to take into account when choosing your map. Uh, like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time because you already got this course, so you might just be like, no, we're, we're using Mapbox. So we can just move on um, to talk, starting to talk about Mapbox itself.